energy focus for the week. So much going on. So join me for a few minutes. We'll do some talking about the week, talking about the cosmos. We'll look at the cards. And we're also going to do an Akashic clearing. All right, I've been doing a lot of these Akashic clearings, helping us to release the intensity, the fear out, and start to raise that vibration. We all need to start really working in that vibration. Hey, Billy, how are you? Definitely. Hey, Vicky, how are you? I meant to say, but Millie too. So, hey, Paul, how are you over here on Instagram? So really important. I'm calling all lightworkers, healers, people that work in vibration. We really must hold this for everybody. So come on in and join me. Share it out. If you know anybody that's feeling a little bit panicked, come on in and join me. All right, let's do this all together. Raise a vibration all around for sure. All right. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream energy focus for the Empowered Spirit Show podcast. So much going on in the world at large. So much going on. Intense, intense. Definitely a month to be remembered. March of 2020. For sure. Now, the truth is, is we have actually been talking about a lot of these cosmic forces for a while. We just weren't really sure how it was going to manifest. All right. We've been talking about it. We've been talking about all of these conjunctions, this energy in Capricorn, which is breaking away of the old structures. All right. Vedic astrology, which I only listen to. I don't really study as much. It's a little bit more intense for me, but Listening to my Vedic astrologers, getting emails from them too. It's in the Vedics. It's in the stars. It's in the skies. And the repeat patterns that come around helps us to wake up. Helps us to wake up, to redo, renew. We've been talking about moving about moving out of Pisces, the age of Pisces, into the Aquarian energy. And this is what it's taking. All right? This is what it's taking. But we don't have to get flipped out about it. And us as light workers and healers and people that work in vibration, we are being called right now to make these changes come forward. Panic is a low vibration. Fear is a low vibration. Viruses are a low vibration. So we must, we must, must, must learn to raise our vibration up to release this energy out. This is what's going to be the energy of the shift, and this is what's going to be needed right now. As we go through this week, all right, Monday, we're going to start to see even more of this panic. I know especially for us here in Alabama, we're kind of just waking up, right? As people start to get more tested here in the States, we're going to see it. And the numbers will, they will multiply. That's just how the virus works. But we must be smart and we must not lose our common sense, all right? That is what's really important because that panic, that mass consciousness is coming in in a big wave. It's this huge wave of energy. All right, fear, we talked about this last week with the full moon in Virgo. Fear is a big vibration. It's an energy form. And fear will attract fear, will attract fear, will attract fear. And all this energy is going to come and be exaggerated. And it's going to be expressed in so many ways. All right, we're seeing it now being expressed. Everybody's shutting down. Everybody's like running, hiding, hoarding toilet paper. Like really, come on. That's what's going on. And that's the exaggeration of the energy. All right, so now everybody's got their shopping done, at least a little bit of it, and we're going to be going inside. We're going to be having to quarantine ourselves, all right, or having that social awareness really important, all right? Really, 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 we must take the time to go in and also ask yourself these questions too, like what is your fear? What is your panic? How do you deal with panic and crisis in your own life? Everything will shift. The markers are there. We talked about this, and I, I feel very called to the same analogy as we did with 9-11, different circumstances, but energy shifted. And I know for myself, that's where I made my commitment to humanity. So I am definitely asking and calling and reaching out to so many people, step up to the plate with this call for humanity. Step up to what the energy of Aquarian age is about, the breaking down of old structures the rising up of new. So this is like all of us that are dealing with health and nutrition. All right, like I just got off phone with Jen, Harvest Moon, like, like, yes, we need light foods. We need less pollution. We need to be aware of what we're doing. And even over these next couple of weeks, all right, careful of each toilet paper sheet you use. I mean, come on, like be smart. Just don't get stuff and just eat, 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 and use and consume because of your fear. Be conscious of your choices. It's really time to check in with yourself, all right? And what is that ability to know what your own body's telling you? Do you have that? 
Can you trust your gut on this? Can you know what's going on? Do you know if you're sick? Can you know what the, when that virus comes in for you? We have to go within, learn to trust those instincts, learn the ways that we can to raise up our, vib our vibration, all right? For those of us that are healthy and build the immune system, that's what we need to do, help others do the same. The virus will wear itself down. It really will. It always has in humanity. So for now, we need to be smart. All right, now we have a lot of these transits coming forward. We're moving into the fourth phase of the moon, which is that dark of the moon. What does the dark of the moon do? It tends to pull our energy down. So we have to continually, through meditation, through yoga practices, through pranayama, through healthy eating, earthing, all of these things, we have to raise our vibration to get through this. All right, middle of the week, we have the vernal equinox, all right? So we're moving out of that Pisces energy into Aries, which is going to be a little more fire. So you have to be careful of where that fire is for you as well. But spring is coming. We're moving out of darkness. Now look what we're moving into. Confusion, chaos, panic. Into the spring, time to plant new seeds. Now we can't let that form of energy get to all of us, especially those of us that have these new ideas that are in the health system, that are helping to make these changes. We still have to work with that energy. Now we also have a big transit, and again, all the astrologers are talking about it. We're talking about this Saturn, all right? That'll be like on the 21st, so the day, two days after the equinox. And funny enough, it's coming a little early, so the whole calendar is off a little bit. It happens. It's not just the first time, but timing and everything is shifting. That's kind of my point. So Saturn, the big thing, Saturn is going to move into Aquarius, which is like a revaluation. It's that revolutionary energy, the current structures of our lives. At the light, as at the lake today, the medicine wheel, my brother's playing Buffalo Springfield. It's like, yeah, that's, that's that reminiscent energy. Change is coming. Revolution is coming. The structures of our lives are coming. It's going to stay in this sign for, for like till 20, uh, 2023. So what are the structures in your life? And as you find yourself at home and as you find your business changing, how can you change it for the higher good? What is your why? Returning to that why and helping to evolutionary, uh, to revolutionize or evolutionary changes, all right? That's what's kind of trying to say. Be that catalyst for growth. That's what I'm trying to say. What is it you can do? And this is all of those forms of energy, all that cosmic force coming through. The Vedic astrology, again, it's in the Vedas, it's in the stars. We must go through this. Look at what we've endured these last four years. Look at it and look at the symbol symbolism of it. Clean up our acts, wash our hands better, clean our studios better, toilet paper. So all of this shit, all of this stuff that we've dealt with, time to clean it up. Time to revolutionize what we're doing. Our money system, our health system, our food system, our air elements, all of the sacred elements. We're going to feel this energy. Now, what can you do to work with it, not against it? Become the person you've been wanting to become. Live those passions, the dreams that you've been wanting to live, right? And then also focus on what you can control. Your food. What are you eating? How are you helping your immune system be healthier and healthier? All right. I know for me, I had a whole year where I was like sick and, and had some of the respiratory stuff. And so, yes, it's like my yoga practice, good eating, drinking water, cleaning my body. Now I'm strong again. So these are the things that we all must do in order to trust what is going on. Learning to trust your inner guidance is really important. All right. Especially as this, this great conjunction comes in between Saturn and, and Aquarius and even Jupiter in there. It's like, these are the things making historical changes in our lives. These are the things that are helping that intensity of that energy falling down so we can build new growth. Spring is just around the corner. That's what we need to do as we go through it. All right. So careful not to exaggerate the fear and the panic. Careful not to get into that. Remember, we're going through the dark of the moon this, this week. New moon will be next week. End of the Pisces. So the, the tendency is to get a little intense, feeling a little bit of extra energy. All right, look within for your answers. Notice how you can start trusting your own intuition. It's going to be really, really important as we do this. Yes, I will be offering some online classes. I will be putting them out there so that we all can join together and really work and practice this work together and be a part of making the change. Be a part of raising that vibration. Really, really important. All right, so again, as we go through the week, Monday and Tuesday, we're going to feel a little bit more of the panic. More things are going to close. You're going to find your routine is totally different than what you're used to, but it is important to ground, all right? 
Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the switching of the energy, the vertical equinox, where we have half, you know, equal day, equal night, moving into that new season. Then we have that energy of Saturn coming in, dark of the moon towards the end of the week. So it is going to be another week of we don't know what. It's just going to be uncertainty. But allowing yourself to know that these transits are coming in, that the moon is moving in a certain way, that you have to make some changes with yourself will help you to get through it at this time. Very important. Set your vibration. Set your, in, your intentions for a good week. Know that we're going through changes. Try not to fight it and try to work with the energy, all right? So those of us that work with crystals and lights and healings, keep doing the healing. Keep sending healing out to the earth every single day. Peace is a high vibration. All right, we want to get out of the fear and the panic and the viruses. Raise the vibration, all right? Check out Dr. Hawkins' work if you don't understand that whole idea of consciousness and vibration, all right? If you're freaked out about the coronavirus, look into more of the details of it. I just We just watched a YouTube video, a, a TEDx talk about it. Like, find out more of the details, not the panic, all right? I did a podcast last week sending out Reiki to everyone. Check that out as well. Find the ways to calm your energy. I will be coming online. I will be offering more uh, meditations in my group as well as Natural Forces Studio and on Instagram as well. So really the advice for this week and the mantra is just like, I am in this here now. Like this is okay. Go within your own energy, lift your vibration. I am peace. Make it simple. I am peace. So let's take a moment. Let's do a clearing. All right, I've been doing lots of Akashic clearings, calling in the healing guides, aligning with this energy, helping us to pull out the fear. I've had a lot of people comment that are feeling more grounded and better in their energy. So let's do this together. Take a few moments, if you can, with me, and then we'll move to the cards. All right, so wherever you are, close your eyes. Just take a nice deep inhale. Exhale away, begin to call in your energy. We've been really focused out there and looking at all the details. Begin to call in your energy. Begin to center the spiritual body right on top of the physical body. Feel your energy pulling in, calling into that higher self, and just taking a moment and noticing, are you caught in the fear? Are you caught in the panic? Take a deep inhale and exhale. As we take this time to ground our energy, to release those lower vibrations of fear and panic, and lift up to the higher vibrations of peace. Taking this very moment, here we are at the very end of the winter season, starting to awaken to the new season ahead, Yes, there's lots of fear and panic, and we just let that fall away. Energy follows intention. As we learn in the teachings of the medicine wheel, each season has its own energy. And so we find ourselves right on the very edge of the north and the east, right there at that edge. We awaken from our dreams, we become ready to plant the seeds for our life, and we're moving through changes honoring this part within you, calling in the directions for guidance and protection to the north and the east, the south and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center. Take a deep inhale and exhale and set your intention for this week. Set the intention right into that third eye center. And then notice those elevated emotions. How will you feel? As these intentions come in, gratitude, we feel peaceful, joyous, safe, and allow those elevated emotions to lift, radiate that energy. That's what we want to learn to do. Radiate that energy out through your auric field. So we take another moment. We call in the healing guides to help us with this energy working with this space, working with the higher dimensions, moving through up into the higher realms. Allow yourself to let go of the doubt and the worry and the logic of this right now. 
Turn into your purpose. As we lift up the energy, call in the healing guides and allow the healing guides to come through. And releasing any fear right now, panic, fear, those lower vibrations. And the healing guides just begin to pull out the energy. Working with the Lumarian crystals. Get some Lumarian crystals. Get some high vibration crystals for you. Go through your auric field each and every day. Do this. Work with the higher guides. Let all of that excess energy fall away. Look and see through your own auric field. What do you see? Begin to train yourself to do this. What do you feel when energy comes in that isn't yours? Impasse. We need to train to do this. And just let those healing guides pull out those energy forms. Fear, panic, virus, less than light energy, we call it. Less than high vibration, less than light. And as they pull it out, they move all through the body, pulling it out all the way down, all the way down through the legs and the feet, connecting with the earth. Let all that energy be gone. And then imagine beautiful golden light coming right above your head and allow those healing guys to help shine the golden light through you, purging out anything else, filling in those holes. This is how we work in vibration. This is how we work in the higher guides, the higher dimensions. Now allow yourself to radiate that golden light for you. That will lift your vibration. Imagine, pretend, visualize. These are all the things I teach. Let it radiate out so that fear becomes gone. Just for today, as we teach in Reiki, just for today, feel that present moment. Golden light, golden light, golden light. Let it shine through with those elevated emotions. Return to these feelings every day. This will beat the fear and the panic. Let's just take another moment and sit in this radiant light for you, golden light. Feel it all through the orc field, all through your field of energy. Learn what your field of energy is, forward, behind, around you. Right now, we need to pull it in, especially when you go out. You need to pull it in. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Just imagine you're in this like column of light and allow it to radiate out for you. Higher vibration, gold, peace, love. And let's just ground this energy. Imagine you have this beautiful crystal ball right above your head. See your name in that crystal ball. Imagine reaching up and releasing down. White light around you now. So we separate out the energy. You have your own energy from each other. All the way down. Feel the earth. Feel the feet on the earth. Take a deep inhale. And exhale and feel your presence. Notice a shift of energy for you. Here we are, Sunday, March 15th, 2020. Bring the awareness back into the present time and just blink in the eyes open as you come back. Notice how you feel. Notice the energy around you. Coming back. So the card that we're going to work with today, no surprise, no surprise at all, it's the tower. <laughs> all right, no surprise that this comes up for us all. The tower is about falling apart. All right, destruction, releasing, look at the light bolts, pretty fast. We're going to see this, everything coming apart. Not everything, but a lot of things that we're used to. So the question becomes, how do we work with this and how do we rebuild? All right. I don't really like to be afraid of this card. And I offer that you not be afraid of it either. But know when we're aware of change coming, we can have control of how we put it back together. There are some things that you can do with that. All right. Main card for all of us this week. So if you chose card number one, another interesting card, the Hierophant. Who are you giving your power away? All right. And when things come down, we tend to want to give it away to people out there rather than to your own your own intuitive advice, your own gut feelings. This is the time to get that spiritual clarity. This is the time to go further into your spiritual teachings. 
have the ability to call those answers out there to know what it is. Know who you're giving your power away. There's another lightning bolt. So really go deep and know your voice and who you are listening to and the truth. The truth within you, what works for you. Very important as we work through the tower card. Heavy, heavy, heavy. I can't help it. This is what comes up. Number two, if you drew, drew card number two, this is a son of swords, all right? And yes, it is heavy. That's all we can do, but we can lift our vibration to remain strong, all right? Son of swords is about the details, getting into the really like that really sharp focus. All right, it's got a little bit of that male energy because it's a sun energy, so it's going to be a little bit direct. All right, and some of that's kind of that energy that we're going to see towards the end of next week with Aries men coming in. But like be focused, don't be scattered. The more you can be focused and grounded, the better, but go deep within. Have that knowledge. This is really the swords of the mental, all right, the struggles of the mind. So be clear in what you're looking at. That's a really great way to see it. Be clear in what you're looking at. Don't forget to get the bigger picture every once in a while. But right now, all of us, focus in on what it is you're doing for you. And then here's our beautiful card. This is the Six of Pentacles. Change will come. And blossoming. We will see growth. We will see growth underneath this all. We just got to get through it. All right? So to, over, to just give an overview here, the Tower card is all about the structures coming down. Perfect alignment, perfect timing. Yes, this is exactly where we are especially into that new Aquarian age. The Hierophant, number one, don't give your power away. Check in and see who you're listening to. Check in and know what your own voice is. That is the key to everything. Get some spiritual guidance if you need it, all right? Number two is the Son of Swords, all right? This is about the mental plane as well, being picky, being decisive. Go after it, be sharp, all right? That's what we need to some respects. Now, the other thing about this card, though, is not to get too focused in. Look at the bigger picture. Stay grounded, and then every once in a while, open up and look at the bigger picture. This will shift. This will change. And as it does, we're going to see that growth will come out of it. All right? Six of Pentacles is growth. It's like little blossoms. Like, it will open up again. We're going to have to endure. All right? That's going to probably be, as they say in the Vedic Astrology, April. All right? And that's what it seems like everybody's doing, closing down the next three weeks. So we're going to have to move through these next couple of weeks. It will get larger before it comes back down. So really important for you to really stay strong in your own light. Healers, vibrational workers, energy workers, keep sending energy out. Reiki people, use your Reiki two symbols out to the world, out to each other. We can do this. We can do this. All right? Let me know how the cards were. If you'd like a card, I'd be more than happy to draw one from you. Talk about the podcast last week. I did do one about the Vedic astrology and the coronavirus, washing your hands and all of that with a beautiful meditation. Check it out. This week, I had a really great guest, James Paparo, who did a movie, great movie. Listen to the podcast. You'll get the code and how to watch it for free. It's great. It's called Perception. Seeing is not believing and how we can use tools to change the activities in our own life and things that we have suffered through. Really great book, really great movie, won several awards in the documentaries. So that's this week on the Empowered Spirit Show. All right, let me know how everybody's doing. Oh, and I have to say, Reiki Circle canceled this week, Restorative Yoga canceled this week, the Spring Equinox Celebration is canceled this week in person live at Birmingham Yoga. They are closing down. I will do something live. Wednesday night, 6 p.m., I will definitely do something live. Every day I'm going to be going live, guys, doing meditations, continuing with the Akasha clearings. All right. We'll get through this. All right. We will definitely get through this. I'm actually going to do some energy classes online. And I'm going to do some energy where we're going to start to really recognize our auric field. Right? We're really going to open up and through some yoga poses, energy poses, we're really going to start to really feel our energy and aura. So I'm definitely going to do some things. Keep that in mind. I will definitely do it online. I think that's the way to go, right? All right, anybody else? Really, guys, stay strong. Calling all light workers. Let's join in this work together. This is the key. I know people will disagree with me. I know people are going to say, really, get a crystal and that's going to make life better. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we need to raise the vibration. We need to do the work to get out of the fear, to live to those elevated emotions. That's where change comes in. That's where energy matters. That's where we go in and we make those shifts that we need. Our healthcare system needs it. Our money system needs it. Our community needs it. We all need this. So be a part of making the change. Do your work. Do your energy work. Love Mother Earth. Send it out. 
check in. Let's do this and be a part of helping each other move through. All right, if I missed anybody for cards, let me know. Let me hear from you, making sure everybody's okay, all right? Let me hear from you. Let's stay together. I'll be online. I will be offering classes and ways in which we can lift the vibration. This is the work I do, and this is the work I am dedicated to doing, helping to raise the vibration of humanity, all right? Let's take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Feel those elevated emotions for you if you move through this week. Be guided by peace. Go within. Ask yourself the questions as to what you need as we all shift in energy. Thanks again for joining me. This is the host of the Empowered Spirit Show, To Your Spirit, Terry Ann Hyman. Have a great night. Namaste.